So this block has <clears throat> the crank in it and the uh, front and rear structure on it. And um, got it back from the machine shop. It was dipped, uh, hot tanked. Uh, I scaled all the nasty rust off it and I was trying to get it clean. These are the uh, where you drop the bores where you drop the uh, liners in. It had liner <coughs> lower entry inserts installed because of the uh, pitting. And later on, there's a part of the video where I mentioned how tight it is, and it's um, it was the first block that I had sleeved <coughs> the lower entry sleeve, and um, it was a lot tighter than a block that had not been sleeved and that I just cleaned out. It was. Uh, uh, I don't know. It, it was just something to think about. Right there, all the throws on the crank, I wrap around, around them and tape them. And uh, it helps protect everything when I'm putting the crank in there. And I, I just, after I clean the crank out with solvent and blow it out, I just try to keep it as clean as I can. Um, there's always like lint and stuff from the rags but uh you really want to keep dirt and dust and grime and anything metal out of there from scoring up the crank and messing up your bearings um i always feel like <clears throat> when you get to do an out of frame and you get to do a complete engine from from you know just the bare block up you really want you really want it to be like brand new and um, it'd just be a shame to screw up anything. Um, here, I was trying to get some pictures of uh, the front and rear structure where I um, glued from about the bottom bolt hole down um, on the gasket material, or on the gasket surfaces. I used uh, just gray silicone. But, uh, Right there, there's the excess uh, gasket hanging out, and you just trim that off. But I always want that just to be uh, no gaps in the gasket there, where your pan and your block and your rear structure all meet up. Here I'm just showing uh, <clears throat> the liner packs and organizing them, and how um, how you just install the um, the color coded O rings. And uh, it's really cool because they actually say on there oil and middle and water or whatever or coolant. And uh, it's a color code. <clears throat> right here, uh, my girlfriend was uh, making fun of me. Uh, I was trying to show the cleanliness. There was a speck of dirt on there and I was spraying it off. And I'm like, she's going, man, you're, you're just overdoing it with the brake cleaner on one speck of dirt. And I go, you try to film this stuff and... Uh, use brake cleaner <laughs> at the same time it it's kind of awkward everything takes coordination you know doing you know there's mechanical coordination and then there's mechanical coordination with a, uh, <laughs> a camera or an iPhone in your hand uh, here I'm just using the tool to kind of press in the uh, Ooh, those are tight. liner packs you want to do it real slow. You don't want to send your um, piston shooting down at your uh, crank. It's kind of a critical thing too. It's time to be real careful and not score up your crank. Put a big divot in it. Also, yeah, I'm sitting here trying to film this. This is the uh, upper seal that you put this oil on here and it expands but uh i'm filming this and i'm i didn't have permission from my boss to film it i just figured i'd take a few pictures and film here and there on one of my overhauls and didn't think it would be a big deal but uh it made me nervous when i was filming it like i didn't want to sit there goofing around with my phone when my boss walks by so you just <clears throat> seat those on there and make sure you don't twist any of these O-rings. Um, make sure they're all seated in the grooves. 
right? That's the uh, soap, or we actually use the cat stuff. Um, and uh, I think the more the better, and the cleaner the better. So I'm really making sure that um, those lower entries in the seal surfaces are nice and clean and not gritty. And this is just uh, me turning the engine so I can get the crank lined up because even if the piston drops, if you have the crank lined up right and you have your bearing on your um, rod, it'll <clears throat> It'll go right on the, uh, I guess, the journal of that crank without, without dinging it up. If, <clears throat> if the edge hits it, then it, I mean, it's not going to be a nice ding in your crank. If it drops down and, and it kind of centers itself if you're lined up with your crank, you know. We use a uh, 105 Luber plate usually on the bearings um, just to keep them lubed while we're um, turning the engine and uh, putting the engine together and everything um, and it's good especially if you don't pig the uh, motor before you start it it'll stay there um, oil's fine too especially if you're pigging the thing which is uh, pumping the oil into an oil passage that loops it <laughs> everything which is a really good thing what's that uh, but yeah you don't want to be turning the engine and starting the engine on dry bearings 